Good morning. Today is uh, day 12 of my intermittent fast. And I'm going to kind of jump right into the video because uh, I want to keep these a little bit shorter. I know I've been ranting and going on a little bit. Today I want to talk about uh, an email I get. I follow a guy by the name of Craig Morantz. Uh, he's phenomenal. He's a very, very successful entrepreneur and helps businesses, uh, large corporations, just you know, develop and become, you know, multi, multi millionaire companies. And I mean, he's done it himself and, and turned around and sold a company for, that he owned and now does it for other companies. Uh, his website is uh, go to marketguy.com. I'll put the link here. Uh, he, and I, I get his news uh, emails all the time. And one of the emails he sent out recently was what's the most valuable asset in your life? And it was interesting. He was talking to you know uh, a person at a mastermind, excuse me, a mastermind meeting, and the one thing that came up was people were talking about their network. Network is the most valuable asset that that they have. And you know what? I would say that's maybe second, the most valuable asset you have in your business, personally and professionally, is your health. Right. And I, Craig asked me, you know, I responded back saying, you know what, that is important, but I think your health is more important. And let me kind of go into that and why, why I think this and feel this. I talked about it before in, in, in previous videos, but I think we really, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, we really need to think about if we're sick, if we're cluttered, we're not eating properly, we're not doing those, you know, things that we need to do to maintain our health. Our business will will hinder, it will affect our business. If we can't think clearly, we can't make decisions, if we're not eating the right foods, right, we're not healthy, right? So for example, if you're eating a lot of simple sugars, carbs, right, your mind's going to be scattered. You're not going to be able to focus and be clear, right? You got to eat good, healthy food. Um, if your blood pressure is off, right, your heart's going to be racing, your heart's going to be fluttered. You're not going to be able to be relaxed and calm through meetings, right, or impression. Uh, pressured situations where projects are going and you know you're down to the deadline right you're gonna put a lot of strain and stress onto your body uh, and that that's gonna increase cholesterol and cholesterol is gonna increase because it's a part of your stress systems right as stress starts to develop in the system cholesterol starts to increase because it's trying to deal with the stress and help repair the cells that are breaking down so we might not think of this as you know we kind of and this is being a train, a personal trainer in my past life, in my past careers, one of the things I found is as people get stressful in their jobs, in their business, in their careers, they let health go where they need to even focus on, on even more because as you get stressful, your health starts to take a toll, right? Because we are our business. We are our career, right? If you're not healthy, you're not doing well, well, guess what? You're not going to be able to show up for work. You're not going to be able to do the things that you need to do. Right? You're going to be sick at home, you're going to be in bed, you're going to have the sniffles. I mean, and then over time and distance, you're going to get, you know, and develop. And a lot of the times, when you look at now, if you look at uh, diabetes, you look at heart disease, they talk, they're lifestyle diseases now. They're, they're doctors, studies, Dr. Oz, you name it, all the professionals are starting to say these are lifestyle diseases, right? That over time, we've developed them. Poor eating, poor sleeping, lack of exercise, lack of good hydration, not getting out in the sun, right? For you know, 15 to half an hour, right? Each day, like 15 minutes to half an hour each day. So all these things we have to think about because if we're not healthy, if we're not working efficiently, we're not in our optimal health. How can our business be? How can our network meetings? How can meeting people be an optimal? How can we be sitting there and be present with someone? If you're all scattered, you're not feeling good, right? All these things are extremely important and that's why uh, I highly recommend you look after your health. And you do it first thing in the morning because at the end of the day, if, if you're not looking after you first, how can everything else trickle down and be, be efficient? How can your morning meetings, your afternoon meetings, your energy out through the day, if you don't build that energy up in the morning, you don't eat properly, you don't exercise, you don't, you know, build up that, you know, 
vitality in the morning each day to be able to be efficient throughout the day. So it's interesting. I mean, it's it's sad to see in our society, in our day and age, with all this health information out there, that still entrepreneurs and business people don't think of that as a, as a, as the number one asset. And I'll give you an example here. Right? And I have given a few examples on videos, but I'll give you one here. Put yourself in a situation where, say for example, you were off sick, right? Things were going crazy, life, relationships, you know, everything was going nuts. And over over like a couple days to a week, all of a sudden you got the sniffles, you got sick. Well, then you're at home, right? And you're not feeling good, you're, you're dragging yourself around, you're doing all that. But when you get back into your work, now there's this pile of work you have to catch up on, right? You have to catch up. Well, if you're healthy, why would you have to catch up? All right, why would you have to catch up on emails and phone calls and all that? Because you'd be there, you'd be healthy, right? And that's the thing. That's why it's so important to look after your health so you don't fall behind, so you don't feel stressed. Because if you're sick and you're worried and you get you, you have to take time off, then what happens? It starts to grow. Because then when you get back to work, now you're more stressed. Because now, oh my God, I, you know... I have to go book that meeting, I have to do this, I have to do that, you know, I missed that, I missed that, oh my god, I have a deadline that's due in two days and, you know, I couldn't work on it all weekend or all week because I was sick. It happens, right? These things, these scenarios, I can I can guarantee you, if you don't, if you haven't personally experienced this, you know someone that has, right? And, th and this goes for being in a, in, a, in a career type, you know, job to someone that's in, in business, right? And it's an entrepreneur or you know, a CEO. You don't want to be sick. And if you're a CEO, you don't want your employees to be sick. So this is why it's so important to think about this and have this policy right, and this philosophy in your business. Because what if your accountant's sick? You know, your financial advisor, CFO. What if your VPs are sick? What if your you know, head of operations are sick? What if your warehouse manager is off? All these things affect your business. So if you have the philosophy, like, you know, and this is kind of, you know, to finish this off, you look at the, the Asian culture, right? And I, I've seen this. They have calisthenics in the morning. They, you know, have a um, point in the morning where they work out, they exercise, they stretch, they try to build up that vitality because then they are able to work. Right, and then do the work and, and be healthy because they don't don't want to have people off sick right because it affects business and it affects their health now of course in North America right we don't work as much right you know in relative terms I mean sometimes we do it on our own we have projects and we do that but in relative terms I mean we don't work you know 18 to 20 hour days unless we choose to right and there's a project or something's going on but we don't do that on a regular basis so those are my tips, all right? Look after yourself. Make sure you're sleeping right, you're hydrated, you're eating properly, all right? You're eating good, you know, food. Keep your body well alkaline. Lots of fruits and vegetables into, into your, your eating routine, your nutrition. Um, make sure you're getting exercise, you're getting out in the sun, you're getting lots of good air, drinking good quality water. Stay, try to stay away from coffee and tea, caffeine stuff that drops, all right? Spikes you up and then drops you back off again. I mean, it's good to have one, maybe one or two a day, but Try not to like gorge on coffee and and and, and pop and anything that's going to spike you up. These are kind of my recommendations for you. If you want to be successful in business, your number one asset, number one, is 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 not your network. It's not your assets in your business. It's not your Porsche, your your watch, you know, your clothes. It's your health, right? And I mean, if you don't, you don't agree with me. Go walk around your local hospital, right? See if you can find some, you know, entrepreneurs, CEOs in there and ask them. If you can go back, right, and do something different, what would you do? Probably change their health. And look after themselves. To do the things that I'm recommending right now. So guys, if you want to be successful, you want to be wealthy, take care of your health. If you have any other questions for me, you can email me at info at knssconsulting.com. Don't forget to follow uh, 
go-to marketing guy. I'll put his link here as well. Great. Craig Morantz is a wealth of, of information. Guys, so helpful. But guys, just it's so important. Take care of your health. If there's anything I can teach through these 90 days of videos, it's you got to take care of your health.